Hi guys and welcome to the Boom King guide. I'm gonna be doing um I'm gonna be going through the AoE and the single target talents and rotation. And then I'll also be showcasing that in um in a gameplay. So for AoE I'll be showing it in Covenant and for single target I'll be showing it on Nifendra in the Emerald Nightmare. So for AoE, I'll start with the AoE due to my talents already being AoE. So this is going to be for um, 7.35, which is the current one with Antorus. So, first talent, what you want to be taking is Star-Lord. A lot of people take um, Warrior of a Loon, due to the fact that you can get free instant Loon Strikes. But I always find that this isn't that uh, good. Especially when you have the back legendary on. For AoE you want to be using back and um, shoulders. The back due to the fact that it gives you so much astral power if I show. So you're going to be getting all the astral power like you usually get from a full um, rotation of your moons. Which is about, about two star falls if you take soul of the forest. So now you can see I've already got two star falls down. And I've still got full moon up. Because obviously when it recharges you get um, full moon again with four charges. So as you can see, I'm just getting way, way more astral power. And especially with the shoulders, it makes sure that Moonfire deals more damage. And um, it's hitting another target, so you don't have to always multi-dot. So for example, on a fight like um, Antor and High Command. If I can quickly get it up. You're going to get um, you're gonna get a roundabout. If it's Mythic, which is what you should be aiming for, there's going to be bats which spawn. And you just want to be ready to switch straight onto them. As soon as they're up, and usually they spawn in packs of two. So if you moonfire one, the other one's gonna get moonfired as well. And once you've moonfired them, you're gonna get Cesardian Innovate in Ovocation, which increases the arcane damage they're taking, which obviously means you're gonna be taking a lot, a lot more damage from Starfall, which is what you want. And especially, you wanna make sure if you wanna optimize your AoE DPS, you wanna be having the four set from um, Antorus. A lot of people use the two set, but you can't use the two set from TOS and get these legendaries. But yeah. So you want to be using the four set from Taurus because obviously it increases the damage of Star Ball by 10%. That's just insanely good. And when you cast Star Surge or Star Fall, the damage of your next Moonfire and Sunfire spells is increased. So that's really good because you're going to get the 20% of the shoulders and the 20% of the four set again. So yeah, it's really, really good. Um, next talent you want to take, it's down to you. I like to take Wild Charge due to the fact it basically gives you a disengage. And me being used to Hunter, I like using that. Next one, down to you as well. A lot of people take Restoration Affinity just to help the healers. But I just take Guardian Affinity due to the fact that it's better in Raiding. I'm just taking less damage all around. Next one's down to you again. On fights like um, ENR and stuff, you want to be taking Mass Entanglement so you can slow down a lot of the adds. But I just take Typhoon just because it's easier just to see on the bars, I don't know. Just like taking t Typhoon. So for single target, always want to take Soul of the Forest. Always. As you can see, reduce the astral power cost of Starfall by 20%. It's just insanely good. As well, what it doesn't add on here, when you pop Soul of the Forest, it also increases your spell damage by 30%. So it's just going to increase the all, overall all the damage. And the reduce the astral power of cost of Starfall... That's just passive, that's not when you use this. So you're going to get be getting off way, way more star falls, and they're going to be dealing a lot of damage. So once you've optimised, when it's a big AoE fight, once you've optimised your astral power and you've got a lot of star falls, star falls down, like for example now where I've got, I'm going to have a roundabout um, four astral down, that's when you want to use your soul of the forest so they, they're going to be dealing such big damage on these adds with your star falls dealing 30% increased damage and having about three down. The next one, what you want to make sure you're taking is you want to make sure you have shooting stars. This on really big fights like Coven, where there's a roundabout. If you get the flame ads, which I'll show in the gameplay, when there's about 10 ads up, if I dot up all them ads, either with Sunfire or, or um, with Moonfire, they're all going to have the Moonfire and Sunfire damage over time, has a 10% chance to cool down a falling star, dealing 53 astral power and generating 4 53 astral damage and generating 4 astral power. It's not the damage which matters here, it's the astral power you're generating. So say if you're dotted up, like, 10 adds uh, with either Sunfire or Moonfire, you're just guaranteed to get um, 
guaranteed to get shooting stars and you're gonna have so much astral power so for example now if I just show it quickly if I dot up all these with um, moonfire just dot up all these guys with moonfire and some fire just quickly you can see what I mean so this is before I've even used a full moon and I've already got enough for a um, star fall and as you can see it's just gradually my stuff my um, my astral power is just going up and up because I've got so many shooting stars down so you just want to make sure especially when you take shooting stars Everything you can possibly dot is dotted, so that you're just getting huge, insane amounts of um, amounts of astral power. But if you haven't got this many targets and you've got around about two targets up in the void, when you have when you can't use the star fall, so if I just let these dots drop, I'll quickly show you. So now you see I've got downtime. Everything's dotted. I want to be using my Saluna strikes due to the fact it's going to be hitting both targets. So using your time on solar rafts when there's one when there's two targets is just useless. You want to be using Lunar Strike all the time. But yeah. So that's round about it for the AoE. But yeah, last set of talent. Always want to take Stellar Drift. Increases damage of Starfall and the Radius. So once you've got Starfall down, you can literally just cast a move. Just cast a move inside it and just do tactics and stuff like that. That's why Boomy's so good for AoE. On stuff like Command. If you get a Shock Grenade, you can move out of it. And you can just move out like this gradually. But yeah. I'll now go into the um, single target talents if I quickly just disengage. Just break combat. Finish him. <coughs> it's because my dots are still on him. Just quickly run away. Okay, so now Finish him. always want to take Star Lord for single target. Wild Judge again, down to you. Uh, Guardian, Affinity, I take. Typhoon, whatever. But you want to make sure you're taking Ty uh, Incarnation, Guardian of a Loon. Because that is going to increase your single target DPS so, so, so much. And you also want to take Blessing of the Ancients. One thing about Blessing of the Ancients, which I find bad, is every time you die it, it turns off. So you've got to make sure you always have this up. Most people have a weak aura for it, so they just know that it's um know that they haven't got it up. So you see there, it shows that I've got it. And when I don't have it up, that will be grey, so I just know. Last one, before early in the expansion, a lot of people took Nature's Balance. But now Stellar Drift is just a lot, lot better. Just because you can cast a move in that big range. And for single target legendaries, what you want to be taking is the wrists and the ring. The ring, due to the fact that every time you use Astral Power, it reduces the um, Chosen of a Loon by one second. Which is really good. Quick and get a Loon up, you can see how much damage you're doing. More Astral Power, more damage. Just, yeah, overall really good. So the reason you want to be taking Stellar Drift is these wrists. So these wrists, every time you use a Star Surge and Star Fall, each have a chance to make, 20% chance to make each other free. So say if you're getting a free Star Fall and you can put that down, it's going to be dealing 30% more damage, 50% more damage, sorry, and you can cast a move in the radius. So I'll just quickly show what you want to do for single target. The main thing about single target is you want to keep your dots up all the time on the target. So use Full Moon and just start using Star Surges. You want to try and prio if it's single target, you want to be using Solar Rafts as much as possible. You want to be using Solar Rafts until you have three stacks of Lunar Strike, and that's when you want to start using your Lunar Strike. If you can, try and make sure that you're not overlapping the amount of um, um, Enlightenments you have. So obviously when you Star Surge, a, um, your Solar Rafts and your, your Lunar Strike are going to deal more damage, so they're empowered. But you just want to make sure you're always using your Astral Power on um, Star Surges. But just make sure as long as your um, solar rafts aren't um, going over three, you're doing pretty well. So you just want to make sure that, you know, if your lunar strike goes to three, that's fine. You just want to make sure you're keeping all your dots up. And now, now you'd use your lunar strike just so you can get them um, empowerments down so you stay, you're stay you not overlapping on three. So I'm just going to use my solar rafts now, use my lunar strikes. Use them again. Now I've got a free star fall. So you only want to be using star fall if it's free. And you can use it. So just make sure you're using your solar rafts. Just making sure that all your star falls are free. Lunar striking if it can't go over free. If it goes over free, that's fine. But yeah, I'll be um, I'll be linking this video to another one of where I have the videos for um, I have the the timestamps and stuff of the single target and the AOE gameplay. I'll put it all in the same video. So yeah, the timestamp will be up throughout the video, throughout all of it, so you can quickly click on the top if you want to go back to Talent Guide or the Dungeon and Raid one. Anyway, that's it for the Guardian.
guide, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.